Hello everyone. Welcome to the new lecture of computer aided process synthesis. In this lecture, I will briefly explain you about software that espionizes. Because we know that this in this subject, you should know some knowledge about chemical engineering softwares. So there is one software that is espionizes. Espionizes is the most important software for chemical engineering students. So in this software, I will explain you about what is the role of this software in chemical engineering field. So this software is useful in automation field, chemical automation field. So industrial automation, in industrial automation, it is the use of, in the use of control systems such as computers, robots, and information technologies for handling different processes and machinery in an industry to replace human being. It is the second step beyond mechanization in the scope of industrialization. Means by using automation, we can reduce or minimize the labor cost. Means indirectly we are replacing thousands or hundreds of labors by single computer. Means by using computers, we are minimizing the labor cost and we are enhancing the quality of our products. We can say we are enhancing the, we are forming the replica of our physical plant over the computer. Means before applying changes on actual field, we are applying those changes on the computer and we are checking whether these conditions are favorable or not. If those are favorable, then we, we will go for the optimization process. Optimization process means modifying modification of those of the process to get a maximum efficient process. Which, which will be profitable and which will be energy efficient and that can be means having the minimum operating cost. So this is nothing but industrial optimization. So industrial optimization is a fast growing field in, the, in which the manufacturing units are adopting automation for profits. I told you, whatever we are doing in automation, we are, we are minimizing the labor cost, means we are moving towards the profit. After that, innovation in the automation industry comes from applications rather than coming from the new technology. So innovations are coming day by day in this automation field. So in brief, I will explain you about espionizes. I already explained you few things about espionizes in our introductory lecture. Introductory lecture. In this lecture, I will explain you those things, those important things and some, um, some important parts of espionizes. Okay, so let's start. So what is the espionizes? Espionizes or simply I say, I can say HISIS is a chemical process simulator used to mathematically model chemical processes from unit operation to full chemical plants and refineries. So espionizes it is the most important software in chemical industries. Okay, it is used to model the chemical plant and to form the replica of that uh, physical plant over the software. Okay, means automation or simulation is nothing but a replica of our physical plant, means process flow diagram, whatever we are having in our book, in our pages, in over the pages, okay, those we are forming over the computer. That is simulation. Okay, after that, HISIS is able to perform many of the core calculations of the chemical engineering including those concerned with mass balances, energy balances, vapor liquid equilibrium, heat transfer, mass transfer, chemical kinetics, fractionation and pressure drop. Means on espionizes you can easily solve the numericals or any data that is analytical data based on the mass balances, energy balances. We already we have studied these things in process calculation chapter, process calculation subject in your previous semesters. So all these things can be solved over this software within seconds. Okay, or we can say vapor liquid equilibrium calculations, all those things, PXY diagram, TXY diagram, all we have studied in chemical engineering thermodynamics, all these can be solved on this software within few minutes. Okay, so this is the importance of ICS in chemical industry. After that, ICS is used extensively in industry and academia for the steady state and dynamic simulation. What is the meaning of steady state? What are the 
what, whatever the properties involved in chemical process, for example, compositions in steady state means those are not vary with respect to time. If those uh, properties vary with respect to time, I cannot say them steady state process. Those are the unsteady state process because those properties are varying according to the time. So next one is the dynamic simulation. Dynamic means unsteady state process. Okay. After that, process design, performance modeling, and optimization. So what is meaning of optimization? Optimization means modification of the process in a such a manner to enhance the quality of the product or to make the process energy efficient and to minimize the operating cost. That known as optimization of process. Means main thing in, op in optimization is to minimize the energy requirement. So this is the important thing about optimization. So all these things are important in automation. So now we will see some important images related to Spenisis. From that you can you will get some uh, some idea regarding the automation, or I can say we will get some ideas about Spenisis software. So you can see here. These are the images of Spenisis. Okay, so this is a basic basic simulation environment. See, this known as a simulation environment. Okay, means from this you can see on the right side there is a component list. Okay, component list means uh, suppose in the reaction mixture there are two or three components or more than that. Okay, I am taking binary mixture means binary mixture consists of two components. Suppose I am taking methane and ethane. So I can add those components from this component list while clicking, double clicking over this component list. There, there will be multiple components list will be available on the right side. Okay, on the right side, you have to select just those components. After selecting components, those components will be displayed over this list name here, list name. Okay, after that, you need to select fluid package. Okay. So you need to select fluid package. In fluid package, there is important fluid package is the Ping Robinson. Ping Robinson, P-E-N-G-R-O-B-I-N-S-O-N. Ping Robinson. This is a very important, uh, important fluid package. What is meaning of fluid package? Fluid package is nothing but thermodynamic model. We have studied thermodynamic model in CET. So Ping Robinson is nothing but thermodynamic model, which is a design in a such a manner so we can easily solve vapor liquid equilibrium data in this model by using this fluid package within minutes, within few minutes. Okay. So Peng Robinson is a very important fluid package because that can be used over the wide range of temperature, wide range of pressure, and that can be used to many design processes. That is the best thermodynamic model available in this software. So chemical in chemical engineering industries. Automation industry major fluid package use is Ping Robinson. In your interview or in your viva, this question can be asked. This fluid package can easily can be used in automation industries. So you need to tell them that is a Ping Robinson. Ping P E N G Ping Robinson. Okay. So this fluid package is being used in automation industries or in this software Spenisis. After that, there is a reaction tab. Okay, by using reaction tab, if there is any reaction involved in our process, you can add that in this reaction mixture. Okay, after that, user properties. I'm explaining you only important top important terms in this software. Okay, because those terms are necessary. Okay, because this software is wide in nature, vast in nature. So, I'm just explaining you important parts. First one is a component. Component list, it is a necessary, it's a must. Component list is a must, fluid package is a must, reaction is a must, and last one, user properties. User properties means melting point, boiling point, temperature, or I can say pressure. Okay, so while designing, while uh, simulating any environment, I'm giving you an example. Suppose this is, this is a flow chart, okay? So in this flow chart, we have added here multiple unit operations. This is a distillation column. You can see here this is a distillation column, and this is this is unit operation. This is flow sheet for the 
ATU, atmospheric distillation unit column, atmospheric distillation column. So in this, we have added here distillation column. Okay, this is a preheater. This is a preheater. So in this manner, we have added multiple streams here. So after completion of the reaction, you are getting here multiple streams. One is the naphtha, one is the kerosene, one is the petrol, one is the diesel and residue. What is a residue? Residue is nothing but high boiling point mixture, which need to treat under the vacuum distillation unit. What we are doing in vacuum distillation unit? In vacuum distillation unit, we are the minimizing the boiling point of the mixture. So we can treat it below the atmospheric pressure under vacuum. Okay, so by using this software, we can, we can form any flow sheet by using simulation environment. This is simulation environment. You can see here simulation environment by double clicking over this in actual software, you will get environment. After that, environment means after clicking over it, you will get here multiple operations. See here, this is a distillation column. Okay, different types of distillation columns are here available. So you can select anyone according to your use, according to your requirement. Okay, so this is the main thing about this software. So by using this software, you can minimize the labor cost and alternate software for SPNISIS. This is the most important thing. Alternate software for SPNISIS is Unisim. Unisim, U-N-I-S-I-M. Unisim. This software is developed by Honeywell. Honeywell company. It is a Pune based company, Pune Maharashtra. Pune based company and it is also one of the best software which is alternate for the SPNISIS. Okay, it is also being used in our oil industries. So this major means major application of the softwares means SPNISIS and Unisim, those ProSim as well. All these softwares are used in petroleum industry. Major applications of the software are in the petroleum industry. So if you are interested, you can learn this software. There are many uh, many videos are also available on YouTube. Just go through it and try to learn as much as possible. So this is all about today's lecture. Thank you very much.